Jared Ritchie here, and boy am I excited to make this video. And the reason is, I've got something in my hands you just gotta see. Yes, it just came yesterday to let joy resound a singing school hymnal, the proof uh, I, I got a hold of it, and it is every bit as impressive to hold as it was to see pictures from afar, and I just have to share it with you. It is a wonderful buckram blue cover with the foil stamping on the spine there. Uh, it is just that curved spine, Smith's own binding, and you got it. You can see that ribbon marker that is just uh, very, very neat. And Dan Kreider and Hemworks have done a great job. And look at this, it's natural, more of a natural white instead of the ultra bright white. I wasn't sure about this when Dan sold me on it and it looks phenomenal. It's easier on the eyes, as is the accent red here. The contents of this hymnal are laid out in a way that would be flow with the calendar of the school year. It's not a full service church hymnal uh, because it's meant for the school, a resource for the school. And it's got all the things that you would expect in a hymnal and including the original, um, you know, hymnals would often have a music theory primer. This is not a full one, but it does have uh, ways to sound out. Talk about solfege if you've wondered about that. Dan was gracious to include a um, navigating the hymnal section. If you've never really used a hymnal, you may not know what the various text and numbers mean on the page. And so this is great and easy to understand. And then, of course, the hymnals of the past often would uh, be very selective about what is the first hymnal in the hymn. Uh, hymn collection, and this hymnal is no different. This first hymn, the big reveal, it is none other than Now Thank We All Our God. I, I really want that to be representative of the whole project. And this version, if you don't know, is probably not the version you grew up singing. It is a rhythmic version that is closer to the original. Now thank we all our God with heart and hands and voices. Who wondrous things hath done, in whom his world rejoices. That's different rhythm and uh, the same tune, but a more rhythmic setting, much more singable. And that's really what the goal, if you had to summarize this project, is can we get singable tunes and rhythms laid out in a premium quality way, but not really at a premium quality price? Can we look at the great books and study those in our Christian schools? Well, yes. Do we only have to study those? No, but let's start there. And I thought, let's try to focus on the great hymns, a corpus of hymns that have come before. Most of these are in the public domain. There are some copyright hymns in there. We want to really give thanks for these. And Dan has done a remarkable job with this layout. It's crisp. It's spacious. It's not jammed edge to edge. And there's room to make um, notes and solfege. If this is your own personal hymnal, it's in singable keys. That is the priority over playable keys, be it the piano or the guitar. It's set up so that you can sing this vibrantly and robustly, and it looks sharp. It is just uh, exquisite to behold, and I'm super excited for it to come out. Of course, you've got your indexing in the back that you would have in any hymnal, but it's 198 hymns here, and it is just so great to hold in in my hands, and I know uh, you'll probably be as impressed as I am. Uh, LetJoyResound.com is where you can pre-order it and, and get those. They've got bulk pricing if you haven't already checked into that. Uh, we really want to get these into the hands of, of Christian schools and uh, also into the hands of maybe homeschool co-ops and groups and just the interested uh, hymn lover that wants to have another hymnal in your collection. It is a hymnal that is um, strictly a hymnal. And some people might wonder, why not add other things in there? It's not very thick. And that was done on purpose. We wanted to really give you hymns uh, that you could focus on because those are going to be more cross-platform uh, and cross-marketable 
than a book that has a lot more extra things in there, like litanies, readings, uh, prayers, service orders. We want you to use this, of course, in your convocations, your chapel services, maybe in your school if you have need, but we want you to use it outside of there. We want to have a singing school hymnal. We want you to be able to supplement. Maybe your school needs a certain liturgy now, but grows into a, a different liturgy uh, over several years, and you're not locked in. Um, but these hymns for now are locked in because they're time-tested and they're robust and vigorous, and we uh, really believe that this will be a great tool for your school or for your community to use uh, as you grow in your understanding of singing together. So let joyresound.com uh, get your order in. I think you're going to love it when you can finally get your hands on it. So make sure your uh, hymnal is one of the ones that come in our first printing.